Hi, welcome to Real Mom Reactions. I'm a Gen X mom and I love to watch and react to TV shows and movies. And today I am watching Queen of Tears Season 1, Episode 6. And we ended Episode 5 in a great note. There was actually a communication about feelings and they actually had a great hug and a kiss. It was so nice. I was so happy. And now I am kind of have, have this kind of worry that that was like waiting for the other shoe to drop, right? Because... I know this is 16 episodes and we're only at episode five and I know that things are going to get worse before they get better. And so, you know, I'm just grasping on to this happy moment and hopefully it's a beginning of more communication um, and then hopefully they can get closer, but then I know it's not going to last. I know it's not. I know we're headed for disappointment and heartache and that's what a good drama is about, right? So... That's what we're headed towards. We're headed towards the alliance of evil doing some evil things. Uh, Unsung, uh, is that his name? Unsung wants to take over Queen's Wu. And he's obsessed with Heian. And he is kind of catching on that she's not feeling well. Because she went into her kind of fugue state. She kind of lost time again. And he was there to witness it. And she seems off. Even though she kind of, you know, um, gathered herself well enough, right, to present to whoever those people were but he's still suspicious and he uh i believe asked grace to look into her health um Pomja is now in on the secret she found out because she was in the hospital and she saw um uh Hayen. and i'm really happy because they need another ally right i feel like there's an alliance of evil and then it's just like Hyunwoo and Heian. So they needed someone else on team Hyunwoo and Heian, and they have Pomja, which is really happy. Um, and she loves her niece, and she was, she just, you know, she's my spirit animal. I love her. Um, and she cares about her family so much. She tricked her dad to try to get them to him to reconcile with her brother, you know, and it's been I don't know how long, how many years. And um, she felt so bad. She was crying and so upset when she found out that Hyun was sick. And then she scolded Hyun for uh, letting her go to Germany uh, on her own, even though he had no idea that she went. But still, like that was awesome. That's exactly what I would have done, right? In her shoes, I would have scolded Hyun. Like, why aren't you in Germany with her, <laughs> right? So I am so happy that Pomja is is in the know now. Team Hyun and Hyun, and um, yeah, I can't wait to see what this episode. Um, it happens in this episode. At the same time, I'm kind of scared what's going to happen in this episode. So let's get started in three, two, one. Let's oh, this is the, the memory card that um, Hyunwoo gave him. Who is he going to find on there? Who is leading the boar? <gasps> Who is that? Who is that? It's a woman. <gasps> the daughter-in-law? Are you serious? So she is part of the Alliance of Evil. I knew it. Now you want to so. Oh. Oh. That makes a lot more sense. That's everything he wanted. But now you're falling in love with her. What are you going to do? 고마워. 꼭 쳐준다며. 근데... Really? Yeah. Aww. Man, these two are so expressive with their eyes, you know? Like they can communicate all their emotions with their eyes. It's amazing. <laughs> Read between the lines, dude. Read the room. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Say something or kiss her. Da onul. Ani. Onul buto. Dorang. Katsu jamen ande. Finally! Say yes. 
Say yes, of course. 아직 불편하구나. No, 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 no. There you go. She said, that's not what I said. See? Yes. Mm-hmm. What is it to think about? <laughs> yes. Yes. Cool. <laughs> oh, he's in a hurry. <laughs> That's too funny. Yay! How did you get a monster? How did you get a monster? Do you think I'm going to die? I'm going 이런 남자가 내 남편인 거잖아. 세상 이런 남자가 어디 있냐고. 그러게. You feel about this big, right? This big. Yeah, you better beg for forgiveness, man. You better pray and pray hard, cause you pretty much started off doing a shitty thing. So, yeah. Yobo, I love it. She called him Yobo. Have you ever been to Korea? No, 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 I haven't. You should come this time then, because I'm about to sue you for fraud. Mm. This agreement was made to express Heino's appreciation for her treatment. Oh. There was one million dollars provided for the cost of gratitude, and your action of not even having an attempt is considered deception. Yes, yes. Wow, he made it possible for her, man. Oh, That's wow. So, Unsung knew her. So Unsung was a Billy bully from the beginning. Wow, Han was like that even when she was younger. He's an idiot, but he's a sweet idiot, I guess. Privileged idiot, maybe, you know? He's not mean spirited, I guess. Hi. <laughs> oh my god! Stop looking, Yoru! Stop looking! That was you! She's very specific about that. Hmm. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Who's her first love? <laughs> now he's jealous. <laughs> On a bus? <gasps> oh my god! Grace is gonna tell them. Holy crap. And they're in such a good place too. Come on. 
남은 시간 동안 안 예쁘면 어떡해. 당신은 그 모습으로 날 기억할 거 아니야. 아 no, 스탑. 용납할 <웃음> 수가 없다고. 죽을 때까지 <웃음> If that actually worked, I'd be doing that all day. <웃음> Mrs. Hong disappeared. What? It looks like she went outside of the hospital on the security cameras. Always running, always trying to find Hayen. 나 얼마나 찾았어? 한 시간 정도. Oh my god. <웃음> 자꾸만 시간이 사라지네. 누굴 봤어? 누구? Older brother, right? Who died? 우리 오빠. See, I know. 아홉 살때 여름 휴가 갔다가 보트를 탔는데 원인 불명의 사고가 있었거든. That's why she blames her. Oh, that explains so much. She blames her. RF 송신영 VUX 도청기입니다. Are they framing Hyunwoo? You've got to be kidding me. 이거 무술이잖아. 옥순영입니다. 뭔 소리야? 무술인데. <gasps> See? She created a false identity. She stole someone's identity. 감옥에서 아이를 출산한 걸로 추사됐습니다. 아, <gasps> 있다고? I knew it! Unso, they're mother's son! Mother's son! No, 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 no! Oh shit, it's the divorce letter! It's the divorce letter! No, 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 no! Oh no! Oh no! No. Oh my god. Oh shit. What is she gonna do? She's never gonna forgive him. She's never gonna forgive him. Oh god, they're gonna end it here? They couldn't give me one episode where they were happy. First love. Look at him, he's so happy. He's so cute. <laughs> So he was her first love. He really goes to see her side of things. Because before we just saw from his side, it looked really one-sided. But now we know that she felt just as much as he did. So that I like, I'm, I'm glad they're showing her perspective. Oh God, these epilogues. Oh, this... <laughs> they couldn't even give me one full episode where they were happy. No, they just had to kill me at the end of the episode. I am really pissed off. I know Unsung, like what's whatever his name is, the really bad guy. I know he wanted Hayan all to himself. Hyun was in his way with the company and with Hayan. So he gladly was looking for something to get rid of him, right? He, like, him and Grace and just the whole alliance of evil, okay? Like, they put their plans in motion while they were away in Germany. Like, they, he was a patsy. They totally framed Hyunwoo. They totally framed Hyunwoo, right? Security camera and everything. And now, actually, we see that he actually has a video camera from that Napoleon picture. I knew there was a reason. It was a reason for him to see, get eyes inside the chairman's study. Yeah, I'm just really pissed off. And the divorce papers, and of course, like, that's the, I, I knew Han was going to find out eventually. I knew she was going to be so pissed when she found out and so betrayed because she had complete faith in Hyunwoo, right? She thought that he would never leave her side. I don't know where that faith came in. Like, I'm, I'm of two minds. Like, I'm a little discombobulated, excuse me. This episode was a lot.
This episode was a lot for me. Like I went from highs to they were happy to lows, like so mad because of the Alliance of Evil and all their plans and and everything happening, and then high again and then low again. And it just this this episode was a roller coaster for me. So I'm a little discombobulated. But here's the thing. Let's be honest, okay? Hyunwoo in the beginning did not have good motives, okay? He did a dick thing, right? He was going to divorce Hyun. And he was happy when he heard that she was going to die in three months. So he didn't go through with the divorce. Not only that, his friend convinced him to charm her up and to, to be all nice and sweet to her and a loving husband, as opposed to what he did the last couple of years, so that she could change her will and he could inherit, okay, her, her assets and whatever, okay? That's not a good dude. Okay, like I was really kind of pissed off at Hyodo in the beginning because that's not something that that's not the type of person I wanted him to be. Right. He, you know, obviously he was he's been hurt. He's been denigrated, emasculated, bullied, all that stuff. The past three years with this family, we saw how bad it was. He was nothing. He was dirt to them. Okay, of course, he was frustrated and angry. Of course, he understandably, I think because Hayen not only didn't defend him to her family, was also like cold or especially I think I think the, the death of their their child. Right. I think really um, started that kind of chasm between them. Right. That wall. Right. And it just grew bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Right. He was so resentful for her reaction um, to uh, the loss of their baby. And she kind of just built up walls once he started withdrawing. And she felt like maybe she felt guilt and she felt like um, she didn't deserve to have a baby. It was her fault. And so she just really focused on work. That was all she was focused on. And that's why she pretty much like almost ignored Chono, right? So like, Huge miscommunications, misunderstanding, um, just bitterness and resentment on both sides. I'm not saying Hayen's innocent by any means, okay? She's not innocent. But Hyunwoo was a, that was a dick move on his part, right? That was, you know, to, to basically romance your dying wife so that you inherit, right? So she changes her will. That's like the definition of a dick move, okay? Obviously, then he falls in love with her again, right? And feels tremendous guilt, which we see, obviously, we've seen, you know, as this, this has progressed, right? And we see now in this episode, tremendous guilt. I mean, he's, he's in church praying, okay? That's like how much guilt he feels, okay? And this is not like, this is a well-known trope. I mean, if you've seen the movie, She's All That. One of my favorite rom-coms, right? Same thing, dick move, right? Like he started hanging out with this girl and, and whatever to, to or the bet, right? It's a, it's a trope. This is following the trope, basically, right? This is a, you know, well-beloved romance comedy trope, right? That we see in American cinema. And, you know, I don't doubt that Hyunwoo is falling in love with Hayen. I don't doubt that they were once madly in love. I, I want them to get together. I ship them. It breaks my heart now uh, because Hayen's heart is broken. She had faith in Hyunwoo. And she had faith that through thick and thin, he would be by her side. Um, and she's built up walls. She, you know, dismissed him. She probably, they probably fought a lot. She, you know, did not protect him in front of him. But she protected him or defended him without him knowing. Like, a lot of things that she did for Hyunwoo on behalf of Hyunwoo uh, has always been without his knowledge, right, behind his back. We know as an audience, because we've seen her do it. And this is, seems to be a pattern for her. It's the same thing with the, her employees, the one that was her parents were cancer, right? And she overheard her in the bathroom. The same thing with the guy who sells the juices. And um, I think his child was in the hospital or something. And she said, you know, we're going to buy a hundred something, da, da, da. Like her acts of kindness are always in secret or hidden. She doesn't tell them. It's very roundabout. Usually her acts of love and, you know, they're, it's always hidden. It's always in secret. And so Hyunwoo probably has no idea what 
she's done for him. And we've just seen it ourselves. Uh, same thing with him being, I'm not surprised, uh, Hyunwoo being Hyun's first love. I love seeing that flashback that she was just as in love with him as he was with her. Because in the last five episodes, we've only seen the flashbacks from his perspective, really, right? Of him falling in love with her. I'm going to marry her. I'm going to protect her. I'm going to do all this stuff, right? But we never see her really show her feelings for him. I think this is really the first time. And I love that because it shows me that it wasn't just him who was madly in love. She was madly in love too. The smile on her face and, and the happiness on her face was really nice to see because honestly, we don't see enough of that, right? She, Whenever I see Grace, I think like snake or weasel, right? Because she just slur, slithers in there, plants those seeds of doubt and, and, and things like, oh, I told him this. Oh, I saw this. And oh, blah, 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 blah. Like in the ears, you know, it's like everyone's ears. And she's like, like she's slithering around and like spreading all her evilness. And I hate her. I don't know who I hate more, Grace or Unsung. And then we found out that um, the girlfriend, I forgot her name, that she's her mom, his mom, of course. I knew they knew each other. I knew, I knew they were in it together. Mm, like, okay, totally evil mother, evil son. Ugh. They played the long game on this one. Long game. They not only want the business for business reasons, for money, greed. This is personal, it seems like. And it seems like as children, they all knew each other. They all knew each other. And... And uh, Sutra's wife, um, you know, saw him when he was little and like, da, 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 da. And like, yeah, I, you know, this is, I'm, I'm just curious how long this has been in the works. Has it been 20 years? Has it been 30 years? Like, how long have they been planning this? Like, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy um, when you think about it. And yeah, I mean, Sutra, he is an idiot. He is a product of being spoiled by his mother and being just a whiny bitch baby. Like, whenever he starts whining, I'm like, oh, shut up. Like, I hate whiners. Uh, I hate I hate whiners. And you can ask my sons because I hated it when they whine. I was like, stop whining. Um, I don't like whiners. And so him whining was like just grating my ears. And I just... Oh my God. He's such an entitled, spoiled brat, basically. He's a child. He's an idiot. He doesn't have all the smart. Obviously, Hayen uh, inherited all the intelligence in the family. But I will give him this. He loves his son and he loves um, his wife as much as she doesn't deserve it. Um, but he's devoted to them. And uh, I'm thinking that that is not his son. Uh, Grace probably doctored the um, the uh, DNA test. And uh, yeah, so Sutra is pretty much a patsy too in his own way. I feel for the guy though, because he's weak, you know, and, he, and he's right. You know, he is the weakest in the family. At least he's self-aware enough to know that, which props to him. You know, if he was delusional and thought he was like the strongest and the best, then... You know, then I would, you know, then he's even a more of an idiot. But at least he's self-aware enough to know he's the weakest in the family. Um, but he's going to try harder for his family. So I got to give him that. As much as I think he's an idiot, I, I will give him that. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm scared to see the next episode, honestly. I don't want to see the next episode because I don't want to see them at such odds with each other. And I don't want to see this family fall apart. And I really don't want to see Heian's mother attack, yell, berate, whatever. Um, Hyunwoo. I really don't. Because, you know, as much as Heian's mom is not in the alliance of evil, I still hate her. Right? How can you blame your one child on the death of an another child? It's not her fault. Like, how could you, how could you do that? She's your daughter. Like, like, that's unreasonable and petty and beyond. Like, I... Like, Han is the way she is because her mother did love her. Didn't show her any love, affection. No wonder she's put up all these walls. Like, like I blame Han's mom, you know. And I'm sure Han's dad tried his best, but I'm sure he was busy being a businessman and doing whatever. And, like, I don't know. Like, I just, 
I feel like Han was dealt a bad deck. Like, yeah, she's rich and famous and whatever, but she, you know, her mother, like I tell you, I really don't like her mother. Um, yeah, so those are just my immediate thoughts right now after the episode. I'm sure I'll have more thoughts later as I digest, but... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this episode, and I will see you next week. Bye.